Hello everyone, I am Rob Mueller, a developer software product manager at Intel. Today we would like to introduce, using a step-by-step -step demo, how to use the Intel DPC++ compatibility tool. The DPC++ compatibility tool binary product distribution is based on and equivalent to the Cyclomatic open source GitHub project. So everything we talk about here, except for the DPCT versus C2S command line driver naming, applies to both tools. So let us talk about how the compatibility tool can help you port and convert CUDA code to circle code. The demo will cover two use cases. The first demo shows the migration of a simple project, such as a single CUDA kernel file inside Visual Studio. The second demo shows the migration of a slightly more complex project, such as one containing multiple CUDA kernel files using intercept build and JSON configuration files in a Linux terminal window. First, we open the CUDA SDK samples folder. From the many available samples, we select a simple vector add project for this demonstration containing only one kernel file. We can open the Visual Studio Solution file directly, and then we can first test the sample with an NVCC NVIDIA CUDA compiler build to confirm that the original CUDA based project can be compiled without problems. With the One API Base Toolkit installation, the DPC compatibility tool is integrated into the Visual Studio project menu. So next we can click directly on Migrate Project to DPC++. Once you selected it, a dialog box will pop up asking for you to input or navigate to the original not yet migrated Visual Studio Solution file. After clicking on OK, another window will open where you can then enter additional details for the migrated project output. This time, however, let us not enter any values and just click OK to execute. As we see the execution for this example, it prompts a message that migration has not been completed. The reason for our migration being incomplete is placed in the output console of Visual Studio. The problem here refers to not finding the specified include file. So now we will run the compatibility tool again, click Migrate All Files, and specify the CUDA header files path. And then let's execute by hitting the OK button. No warning message will pop up this time. However, an Intel DPC++ compatibility tool window will open up and display warning messages for some of the migrated code lines. And each of these has a warning ID starting with DPCT and ending with a four-digit message identifier. You can look up this matching ID in the compatibility tool diagnostic reference included in the online developer guide, complete with specific suggestions on how to best address the flagged item. Now we are good to build this migrated solution. As you can see, it can now successfully build the migrated circle code without any issues. For slightly more complex examples with multiple kernel files included, we recommend to run an intercept build to intercept the make process and take a snapshot of the build configuration of the project we intend to migrate. The steps to do this are, first, source the One API environment script file. Then, switch to the CUDA project files folder, run the intercept build to generate a compiler database JSON file, and lastly, run the compatibility tool using that newly generated JSON file. The option minus gen build script that we use here will additionally go ahead and generate a make file we can use for future builds of the circle migrated code. And similar to before, there are also additional warnings and code change suggestions that are best reviewed and applied manually. These suggestions and warnings are provided as comments right next to the relevant code sections inside the migrated source files. The migrated circle project built successfully without any complaints. Thank you for your interest. I hope this helped you to get started on your own journey towards circle adoption. See you next time. Goodbye.